but to do something. <clears throat> to me, this means during your time on earth, your goal should be to do something that will impact others' lives in a positive way. My mom, Pam Rector, has lived out this quote to the fullest. In her job as the director of the Center for Service and Action, she helps college students become aware of social justice issues and supports the students as they work to make changes in the world. As a Girl Scout leader, she always reminded our troop that we needed to talk with the community to find out what their needs are rather than just come in with our own ideas of what the community, community needed. She has always been a second mom to some of her former Lenox Middle School students, and they've been family now for 20 years. My mom has been a part of the Ignatian Volunteer Corps from the beginning. I was five when we started coming to the meetings. Once a month on Sunday mornings, we would come to the Jesuit residence at LMU. I loved coming to the meeting because in the beginning, Sister Peg was there and always brought her famous coffee cake. <laughs> After breakfast, the adults would meet and I would play Barbies in the TV area of the living room. I bet it was the first time that anyone had played Barbies in the Jesuit residence. <laughs> My mom thinks it's important that everyone gets involved in the community. The idea of people helping, the idea of people over 50 helping agencies or schools that need other, another staff person was something she supported by being a member of the IVC advisory board. I can't remember a time when we weren't involved in, a service, in service and community issues. Because of her, I've always been aware of the issues around me and how I can help. I'm proud of her for creating the Center for Service in Action and the Ellis Bejo program. She has shown me that you can bring a good idea into reality. Because of her example, I also have big ideas that I want to put into action. It's time to celebrate my mom. Without further ado, here's the woman of the hour, my mom, Pam Rector. I should just pretty much take the award and sit down. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. You're the absolute best. I'd like to thank, I'm glad that I can see this without my glasses. I'd like to thank the Ignatian Volunteer Corps Advisory Board for this honor. It's amazing to have watched the program grow from an invitation to Joan Harper to start a chapter and the robust program that we have here tonight. Invitation. An invitation to start an IBC chapter is what started the program. Being invited is a special moment. This entire room is here today because we were invited to be here, either through a mailed invitation, an email, or the old-fashioned way somebody actually asked us face-to-face -face or over the phone. Our lives are often moved forward from invitation to invitation. In the case of a job, Someone might tell you about a position that's a good fit for you. Or you may be reading a job posting and there's that little movement within you that says, this would be a good one for me. I'm not looking. <laughs> My bosses are all here. <laughs> it's an example. In relationships in love and in friendship, often relationships move forward because of an, because of an invitation you want to come with me and go to this thing? And the other person says yes. And the friendship and the relationship move forward. The big invitation, also known as the Annunciation, comes, that was a Catholic joke, um, <laughs> uh, comes when the angel Gabriel invites Mary to, be, to become the mother of Jesus. Despite her surprise, her confusion, and her doubt, she takes a leap of faith and says yes. In my life, I've been moved from invitation to invitation. I, find, I found out about the job that I eventually got in Lenox from Jamie Sanchez in the parking lot of the old Foley building. Um, and there you go, it changed my life. 
accepting the invitation to become a mother and the yes that is the yes that brought me the most joy. Those invitations are just two examples of invitations that changed my life. So many of you here in this room today have invited me to join you in an adventure, a campaign, or just invited me to know more about your life and your passion. And honestly, what matters more than being invited deeper into people's lives? Often our invitations come from, ex from our experiences. I have a passion for immigration reform, equity in education, and restorative justice because of my own experiences, the people in my lives, and the stories they have told. If you look around this room, so many of you have been called to action by your own stories, the stories of others, to the point where you have felt that invitation to work for change. Today we celebrate the Ignatian Volunteer Corps program, and most importantly, the current volunteers, on both sides of the room, who felt invited to join this program and said yes to that invitation. They work in schools and hospitals, as you saw in the video, in marginalized communities providing services for these understaffed organizations. I hope that after being with us today, you feel a sense of invitation to join the ranks of the IBC to volunteer or to provide financial or prayer support to this organization and its important work. It is good work that they do in this stage of their lives, making a difference in the communities where help is most needed. Thanks to all of you that have accepted the invitation to attend this event today. May you be open to the invitations that are in store for you in the days and years ahead. Thank you.